Welcome again, Cancer. It's uh, July 2016. I'm Didici from astrology.com.au. You know, finding a greater sense of uh, self and purpose is your theme this month. As we see, the sun has returned to its base of uh, Cancer. As well, we see that on the 5th, there's a new moon which will occur in your sun sign. And this is all very good stuff for you. I guess remodeling yourself, trying to be the best you can. And if there's something new you've wanted to start by way of self-fulfillment, then this is certainly the month to do that. We see also Mars, which is a very friendly planet for you, ruling your career, and also your fifth house of love affairs is still in the fifth house. And it has been in its retrograde motion giving a very powerful result there but now just as the month commences in its stationary position in other words it's been apparently moving backwards and now it's apparently stopped and then it will appear to go forward so in terms of the creative side of your life in terms of your relationships even in terms of speculation or financial matters this is a good omen for you and it's also very very good for many of you born under the sign of cancer who've had somewhat of a backward motion going on in your professional life throughout the last couple of months you'll start to see things moving ahead very very strongly it's nice to see also the placement of the moon your ruling planet in the sign of taurus as the month commences uh, although that is in the opposition aspect to mars which can make you somewhat aggressive in terms of getting what you feel you deserve or believe um, is your just desserts. The 11th house is very good for profits. So this month, especially with Taurus being the best position for your ruling planet, uh, indicating an increase in your finances, an increase in social activities, and um, overall a very good pattern for you for the month of July. There are some other aspects there that we see, such as the trine aspect from the Sun to Neptune, which is in your ninth house. Now, some of you having this vision to improve your skills and to learn a lot more about life, about foreign culture, about languages, can do very well this month because that highlights the fact that this part of your horoscope is, is favorably disposed uh, with this combination of planets. We see also Mercury, which is going to do the same thing. That's around the 5th of July. And Venus, which has just passed over that trine aspect, is a good indicator. And having Venus in the sun sign is excellent for your popularity as a whole, uh, your relationships. And that is why there's a, a really also a powerful linkage between Venus and Mars. And that triangular aspect will take place on the 7th bringing with it some passionate interludes for those of you interested in uh, you know, taking new relationships to the next level or for those of you already in relationships to you know spice it up a little bit if I could if I could put it that way um, there's a full moon also taking place in your relationship sector on the 20th so that to me is a, a very powerful testimony of the emotional sort of connectedness you have with those you love um, yeah it has some influence on business partnerships but this is more about your personal relationships we see pluto the transformative planet still and will for a long time still be transiting this area of your horoscope so this seems to be the the uh, area in your life uh, and especially during this month after the full moon where things are going to hot up there Emotionally, that could be a hot potato. You need to know how to deal with that properly. This could also be dealing with someone else's emotions. And what I've found with the sign of cancer, your sun sign, is that there are times where you are confronted by um, challenging emotional situations and tend to withdraw, like your proverbial uh, totem, the crab. That hard exterior and the soft interior, the, the, the tortoise pulling its limbs in. Now, that's protective. It certainly um, ensures against any sort of emotional hurt. 
but from another person's perspective, it doesn't exactly help them to resolve the things that they need to resolve. So, sure, if there's you know, that heat of the moment where you need to withdraw and collect your energies, you do need to, however, re-engage uh, to make things better. And that, I think, is one of the big lessons this month for you, Cancer, to you know, deal with your emotions, not be scared to allow yourself to be a little bit vulnerable, because in the end, that transformative influence of Pluto is going to work to your benefit. We see on the 20th as well, on the same date as the uh, <clears throat> the full moon uh, and leading up to that date, the trine aspect of Venus to Saturn. So that is a particularly important transit because it tends to cool the affections. You're not going to have the same level of passion that you probably want. But you are able to make some inroads into your relationships, discuss things, and do it in a way that is uh, mutually beneficial um, to you and your partner. You know, at the, my site, astrology.com.au, as well as doing the videos each month, we do put up a standard sort of list of uh, transits or planetary aspects. And you can read about that, and you can... Add a little more to what I've said here today because usually I only scratch the surface. Yeah, five to ten minutes of what's going on in, in your life for your particular sun sign. And you can find out more about that at the site, astrology.com.au. And uh, don't forget too that you know if you're looking for a personal reading, talking to an astrologer can help you based upon your time and place of birth to get a more accurate assessment of what's happening in your life. I hope to see you here next month. It's been great having your company. Good luck and take care. Bye-bye now.